The latest episode of Musoko Tensai reminds us why the series remains the greatest work of the isekai genre. This episode shows how desperate Nana Hoshi is to get back to her original world. Another attempt fails and she falls into a depression. Her condition mirroring Rudy's suicidal thoughts in his previous life as an outcast need. This has a profound impact on Rudy, reminding him of his own fragility. Just a glimpse of his past existence is enough to pull him back into the depths of despair. But we also witness how much Rudy has grown. He has learned to lean on his friends like Sylphy and Cliff for support. He has learned to pick himself up after every fall and move forward with renewed determination. We see the profound importance he places on ensuring Nana Hoshi finds her way back to a fulfilling life, just as he did. He yearns to share the fruits of his hard-won successes with her. While other isekai series shy away from the harsh realities of forced exile, Musoko Tensei embraces it head on. It understands that the isekai individuals would experience the same emotions as an asylum seeker torn from their world. Fear, anger, depression. By making fantasy grounded in realism, Musoko Tensai only strengthens its narrative grip, making you feel utterly invested in these characters' plight. Since Rudius is reborn into this new world, he lacks the drive to return to his previous life. Yet he is no infallible idealized hero. He is a deeply flawed and realistic character. He struggles with personal demons carried over from his past life. He makes mistakes big and small and faces real lasting consequences. This brutal honesty and willingness to show Rudy's flaws is what makes his journey of growth so compelling and relatable. As novel readers know, Rudy never even achieves all his lofty goals before his story ends. A brave narrative choice that separates it from power fantasy isekai where protagonists inevitably triumph. Another pillar of Musoko Tensai's greatness is its nuanced exploration of complex themes like family, trauma, morality, and growth. Unlike shallow isekai with straightforward relationship dynamics, this series dives deep into the intricacies. Take Rudy's strained relationship with his father Paul or Eris's gut-wrenching decision to leave Rudy behind after their first intimate night together. Not just the protagonist, but every character has authentic motivations driving them. Crafted with remarkable depth, they are all emotionally resonant and well-developed elevating Musoko Tensai's narrative richness. To facilitate its ambitious storytelling, Musoko Tensai adeptly bends and synthesizes elements from multiple genres. It is willing to give you slice-of-life drama so that you understand the characters better and experience the new world in all its glory. You may think the anime is forcing you to watch Slice of Life after promising an action anime. But as the readers know, the novel has even more Slice of Life stuff that the anime has pushed aside. This also means that the anime has sped up time. The last episode covered about 4 months if I remember correctly in about 20 minutes. By focusing on adventure and meticulous character work, the action becomes all the more impactful and you understand the stakes when it inevitably unfolds. The villain, who initially appeared as a friendly ally to Rudy, is gradually revealed to be a nefarious god, one Rudy has no hope of besting through sheer might. After all, he is still a human, even if he has the memories of his previous life. He must rely on his wits to outsmart such overpowering foes and survive by avoiding direct fights. Musoko Tensai never forgets that Rudy is still just a human, flawed, limited, yet persevering with grit and heart. It defies conventions, grounds fantasy in realism, and elevates character above all else. It represents the isekai genre operating at its loftiest artistic heights. So expect Musoko Tensei to continue blazing a trail, fearlessly exploring darker, more mature territory in the coming seasons. Sekai had peaked with Musoko Tensei all those years back, and it is peaking again with this adaptation, alongside the likes of Wrong Way to Use Healing Magic, a must-watch.
Like, share, high five, subscribe, let our channel thrive.